Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And、uh, what are we going to do today, Stephanie? We are going to continue talking about the Discovery Program.、Uh, this is an Animal Planet's documentary that's called "The Amazon of the East." So we're going to a place that I think very few people have actually visited. So it's kind of exciting.、Uh, you'll see lots of exciting forest. Lots of exciting, I guess, jungle and exotic animals. We're going though with somebody who's a photographer, and he knows this area very well. His name is Sed, and for twenty years he's really focused all his time, energy, and his working life to photographing、uh, this particular wildlife area. It's along a river called the Kinabatangan River. Which I had never heard of until today. Me neither. Yeah, I'd like to see it now.、Um, you can look up a lot of these places online, of course, and it's fun to see what some of these things look like.、Um, we're going to continue first, though, guys, as we always do, by reading through today's lesson. As we make our way downriver with Sed and Rizal. We learn about the dangers facing Sabah's wilderness today: pollution, clear cutting, and the advance of human development have all contributed to the loss of over 50 percent of Borneo's forests and the endangering of many of its animals. There are, however, a number of local groups featured in the series that are doing everything they can to help. One such group is Hutan. An organization centered in the village of Sukau, with the aim of studying the orangutans of Borneo, Hutan employs 50 locals to research and protect these amazing apes. We also visit the Bornean Sun Bear Conservation Center, where staff members care for rescued sun bears until they are strong enough to be released back into the wild. Another group doing significant work. Is Sabah's Wildlife Rescue Unit. This team focuses on the protection of Borneo pygmy elephants, a distinct subspecies of Asian elephant. Due to the forest being broken up by farmland, these elephants are forced to pass near farms as they migrate, leading to clashes that can hurt both elephants and people. The Wildlife Rescue Unit works to safely relocate herds of elephants away from human settlements. Meanwhile, Sed and Rizal are near the end of their journey, about to reach the point where the Kinabatangan flows into the Sula Sea. Here, nipa palms protect the coast from typhoons and house various snakes, monkeys, and other species. Said gets a few more shots for his book, hoping he now has enough to give an accurate picture of the beauty along this remarkable river, that many call the Amazon of the East. Let's now continue talking about our article. See the beauty of Borneo in the Amazon of the East. Again, this is a documentary series on、mm. Animal Planet. Which is part of the Discovery Channel family of channels. So, in this particular case, we're following Sed Prudente, the photographer、yeah. down the river, the Kinabatangan River in Borneo, there,、mm. which we're describing as the Amazon of the East. Hey, this might be such a great river that the Amazon would be called the Kinabatangan of the West. Right. But no, we're actually in Borneo, so we are describing the Kinabatangan River as the Amazon of the East. So again, we're traveling with Sed and his guide as we make our way down river with Sed and Rizal. We learn about the dangers facing Sabah's wilderness today.、Mm -hmm. So here we've got the phrase to make your way to. To make one's way, that just means to basically go from one place to another. Usually, if it's some kind of journey that takes a little bit of time, and it also involves maybe a little difficulty. So, yes, 
course, we made our way down Yaming Shan when, we, when we went hiking on Saturday. It took us a long time, you know. It took us about four hours to hike down the mountain. So yes, we made our way down the mountain. We traveled slowly down the mountain. So here they made their way down river, with or we did in any case with said and Rizal, and so they're describing all the things that are going on here. They're describing the dangers facing Sabah's wilderness. Remember, Sabah is this state in Malaysia. Right.、Um, I wanted to mention here wilderness. Yeah, there aren't many places in the world anymore that are really truly wilderness areas. It's kind of sad. Human beings tend to mess this stuff up by, you know, developing the land. That's the word they use by building buildings. But if it's a wilderness, it's uncultivated. No one lives there. At least people, but animals do. And it's usually kind of an inhospitable region, a place where it's difficult for humans to live. Um, so, they are going to face Saba's wilderness today. We've got pollution as one of the problems. That's a danger. Clear cutting. This is the first time I've seen this particular phrase. It just means to cut down and remove every single tree from an area. So clear cutting. So it's the removal of all the trees in an area of forest. Here, of course, it's. More, I think it's more、uh, alike with a with a jungle. It's similar to a jungle, so that's part of the dangers facing the wilderness, and of course the advance of human development. You know that's the construction work that people do, or the the increase in tourism. Wow, there's so many tourists these days who want to go to places that no one's been before, so they can brag about it. But they're actually hurting these wilderness areas. All of these things together have contributed to the loss of over 50 percent of Borneo's forests, and of course, this leads to the endangering of many of its animals. Right, so of course、uh, they're clear cutting the forest so they can have that plantation agriculture. They're growing stuff so that they can、yeah. sell it and make a living from it. And of course, everybody wants to go in there and build、uh, luxury apartments and stuff like that, or big buildings or whatever, or tourist facilities. People want to go traveling, you know, and take those、yeah. pictures and post them on Instagram. So you know, they still look pretty cool. So all of these things are causing the forests to disappear. All of this has resulted in 50% of the forests in Borneo from disappearing, and also lots of the animals there are endangered.、Uh, here we've got endangering, which is the verb to endanger, which means to make something lower in number so much to the point that they might go extinct.、Mm -hmm. So these animals are endangered.、Uh, I think there are some animals in Taiwan that are endangered. There are very few of them, and because of human Activity, they are dying off, and、mm. eventually they'll probably go extinct. That's so sad.、Mm. Yeah, I know there we're losing some animals on our planet, like the rhino. There's a particular ry rhinoceros.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we need to be careful.、Uh, once they're gone, guys, those animals are gone. So there are, however. A number of local groups, people who live in the area, they're referred to as locals. A Rizal is a local guide. He's actually from the area there. So there are a number of local groups featured in the series. They're highlighted. They're part of this documentary series, and they're doing everything they can to help. These are people who really care about conservation, and they devote their lives to conserving、uh, animals in the wilderness that we're losing little by little. So we've got these various groups,、yeah. and one such group is Hutan,、mm. H-U-T-A-N, an organization centered in the village of Sukau. I hope I said that Sukau, right. Sukau, yeah. Sukau. Okay, so that's a village there, and that's where this organization has its headquarters,、mm. with the aim of studying the orangutans of Borneo. Hutan employs 50 locals to research and protect these amazing apes. Indeed, orangutans are fantastic creatures, but they are endangered, so we've got to watch out for that. And a group there is very concerned about their survival, and they want to study the orangutans to learn more about them in order to save them. And they've got 50 people working for them. This organization has about 50 people working on research. 
Uh, research is the verb. Research is the noun. Although research, both as noun and verb, tends to be the pronunciation. <laughs> research. It's true.、Oh. And also, they want to protect these amazing apes. Remember, orangutans are not monkeys. They are apes. There is a big difference. Monkeys have tails. Apes do not. Right. Ape actually covers a wider range of animals. It includes your gorilla, your chimpanzee, your orangutan, and gibbons. Those are smaller. But they do not have a tail, yeah. So they're really focusing their energy. They're devoted to studying the orangutans of Borneo, and they're giving work to a lot of people in the area. There, they're employing or giving work to fifty locals. I mentioned if you live in the area, you're called a local. And they're doing amazing work. So we also visit the Bornean Sun Bear Conservation Center. I've never heard of a sun bear before. Me neither. Yeah, but they are focused or devoted to protecting or rescuing these sun bears. Staff members there care for rescued sun bears until they're strong enough to be released back into the wild. So when they're babies, they have to. You know, take care of the little baby sun bears. But once they're grown, they feel like they can、uh, protect themselves out in the wilderness. And then this conservation center releases them back into the wild. They let them go, and hopefully, they do okay back in the wild. Let's hope so.、Yeah. Uh, thanks to the efforts of these groups and said. Uh, Prudente. Oh, they're care for. What is care for? Care、mean? for. Care、yeah. for. Yes, that's a place where you can go buy lots of stuff. <laughs> It's a big store. But the grocery store, no.、Uh, well, care for. C A R R E F O U R. Jalafu. We have some here, don't we? It's probably、yeah. pronounced Kafol in French or something. Yeah, I'm not sure, but no, that's not what we're talking about. I'm joking there. <laughs> care for is a verb phrase that means basically you are concerned about something and you take care of it. You provide care for that. Person or that animal, so that they are better, so that they are more healthy. You can just、so、substitute. They can survive. Yeah, sorry, Tom. You、okay. can just substitute care for、uh, with to take care of. So we're staff members take care of rescued some bears. But remember, if you're doing English writing, you don't always want to use the same phrases. So try to、uh, come up with a couple of different ways to express the same thing. Your writing will be more interesting. So right now, we're going to listen to someone who's always interesting. That's our Chinese teacher. Hi, my name is Jenny. 今天我们要继续来看东方亚马逊 ，the Amazon of the East. 当然。这个地方说它是东方亚马逊，地点就在亚洲的婆罗洲上。好，我们谈到婆罗洲是 Borneo， 而这个地方呢，它的生态之美，我们都了解吗？好，透过这个摄影师，他带着我们沿着这个流域，哎，顺流而下，然后我们发现了这个地方呢，现在有一些面临污染的问题。下面就提到是哪一些的威胁。刚刚说到污染，其实还有滥垦滥伐，这些呢，其实都导致这个地方的森林面积逐渐的减少，而且相对的就会危害到这住在这一片林木里面的动物。那这个纪录片呢，就提供了一些当地的团队，他们怎么样努力的，然后来改变，或者是阻止、阻挡，让这样子的危害。不要再继续的发生。好，这个地方我们看到了 a number of local groups. A number of 这个偏语当然就是代表有不少，有好些个。好，再来后面的 local groups。接着呢 ，featured in the series， 我们看到这一个地方在 groups 后头的 featured， 它是一个过去分词哦。那 feature 这个字怎么用呢？我们知道，当你说一部电影是以什么哎为主，或者是说它主要是谈什么，那你就会用到 feature 这个字。而我们提到的这个在 feature 前面的助词是指有一些团队，这些团队在这个纪录片里面被当做是重点，换句话说是以这些团队来作为主角，所以我们知道团队。在后面的 feature 是被动的语气，因此你要用过去分词的 featured。那我们就来看看这些团队
是谁，是做了什么事。第一个就是 Who Tan， 这个 Who Tan 这个组织它是什么，后面就有解释了。在 An organization 后面的 centered in the village of Sukao， 注意到了。我们知道这边叫苏高村，而这个 centered 还是一样，用的是过去分词，其实也是一样。我们如果要解释它，就是把它加进一个呃，像一个关系子句的形式 ，which is centered in， 这样就很清楚了，表示说，哎，它是位在这个苏高村的一个组织。好，那他们的研究重点目标是在研究。Orangutans, 也就是红毛猩猩。那注意到前面这个片语 ，with the aim of 是为了什么样的目标跟目的？那嗯，他们研究这些红毛猩猩。此外呢，他还说到，他们还参观了婆罗洲这边的马来熊保护中心。注意到了 ，Sun Bear Conservation Center， 逗点后面来一个 where。好，为什么要用 where 呢？我们知道 ，where 基本上它是一个关系副词。那有了逗点隔开，最重要的理由还是前面这边说的婆罗洲马来熊保护中心，这是一个专有名词。所以我们在专有名词后面，当你要说明解释，后面就会用非限定用法，就是用逗点隔开，然后呢，用这个关系词句来解释补充。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. On Animal Planet. So where we left off, we were talking about some of these conservation groups that are trying to study orangutans, and they're also trying to care for rescued sun bears until they're healthy enough to be released back into the wild. Uh, here's another group. Another group doing significant work is Sabah's Wildlife Rescue Unit. Again, this is another organization that is trying to help out animals in this in, in this、uh, rainforest. And this team focuses on the protection of Borneo pygmy elephants, a distinct subspecies of Asian elephant. Remember, there are two types of elephants in the world: two general types of elephants. African elephants and Asian elephants. You probably know about Asian elephants、uh, by going to Thailand、yeah. or India,、mm -hmm. but、uh, of course they have subspecies which are basically the same thing, but they're slightly different. This one's distinct. Okay, distinct means it's very, very recognizable. You can tell that it is different from the main Asian elephants, the pygmy elephant. So they're trying to protect them as well. Yeah, distinct here is being used as an adjective. You'll also hear people use distinctive,、uh, which is also an adjective. So it's recognizably different from something else of a similar type.、Uh, there are very distinct English accents around the world. There's the Australian accent.、Uh, Great Good Britain, die, yeah, Great Britain or the UK. They've got tons of different accents. Um, and considering there's only like 66 million people in the UK, they sure have a lot of accents. I think they have more than America has. But、uh, distinct, it's something that's very different, but belongs to the same type of group. So it's a distinct subspecies of Asian elephant. Now, due to the forest, or because of the forest being broken up by farmland, remember we talked about clear cutting, removing all the trees. These elephants have been forced to pass near farms as they migrate. We use this word "migrate" to talk about、uh, animals, birds, different kinds of animals that go from one region or habitat to another 
based on usually a season. You know, during hot months, you'll have that particular animal or bird in an area. Once it gets cold. They don't like that, so they'll move to a warmer area. They're migrating. Right, I think、uh, lots of migratory birds pass through Taiwan during、mm. the winter.、Uh, the black-faced spoonbill migrates to. Uh, Tainan or something like that from、uh, from some islands off of the coast of、oh, Korea.、Uh-huh. So they migrate back and forth. The black-faced spoonbill migrates、cool. between Korea and Taiwan. So yes, indeed, these elephants migrate past these farms. They pass these farms, which leads to clashes and conflicts with humans that can hurt both the elephants. And people, so they kind of have to run into each other、mm. and cause conflicts. Hey, we're trying to pass through here. What are you humans doing here? Hey, you big elephants, get out of here. We're trying to do some farming here, and you guys are just stepping on the plants and stuff like that. So, of course, they have some kind of clashes or conflicts. A clash just means a conflict, some kind of problem that people have that usually includes violence. Yeah, sometimes we talk about、uh, protesters who clash with the police.、Um, they want to protest. The police don't feel like、uh, they're behaving, and sometimes they will have kind of a violent、uh, fight or argument. But I also wanted to point out you can clash with somebody else in terms of your personalities. Maybe you have a coworker you don't really get along. Your personalities clash. Yeah, he's just not your type of person, or she's not your type of person, or especially for the ladies out there who into fa- who are into fashion. Sometimes you'll wear colors or patterns that clash. Typically, we don't wear stripes and polka dots together, or we don't wear hot pink and red together. But nowadays, I've seen all different kinds of、uh, patterns and colors. Uh, mixed together, but these are actual violent clashes, and what happens is either the elephants or the people end up getting hurt. Okay, so again, we've got this Saba Wildlife Rescue Unit, and this particular organization works to safely relocate herds of elephants away from human settlements. A group of elephants is referred to as a herd of elephants. And this organization wants to take the elephants out of harm's way. They want to relocate the herds of elephants away from those bad humans. <laughs> to relocate just means、yeah. to move someplace else.、Uh, sometimes when you apply for a job, they might ask you, "Are you willing to relocate?" Right.、Uh, you know, we're、uh, having this interview in Taipei, but、uh, your job may actually be down in Gaoshong. Are you willing to relocate to Gaoshong? Sure, I love Gaoshong. It's nice and sunny down there. The people are friendly. There are lots of shopping centers and stuff like that. And in this particular case, the elephants need to be taken someplace else so that they do not clash with the humans. They want to take them away from human settlements. A settlement basically is where people are, where they have decided to stay and build houses and businesses and things like that. So, moving on to the final paragraph, it says, "Meanwhile," which just means while these other things are taking place, we've got something else happening here. Sed and Rizal are near the end of their journey; they're almost finished. They're about to reach the point or the place where the Kinabatangan. River, remember, flows into the Sulu Sea. Most rivers, of course, eventually end up flowing into a sea, into the river somewhere, or into the ocean somewhere, and that's what happens here. To be honest, I've never heard of the Sulu Sea、uh, until I read this. Well,、um, I've heard of it. It's down by the Philippines, I think. You love geography, so I'm not surprised you know about it. So here or in this area, we've got nipa palms. Those are a type of palm tree. Nipa palms protect the coast from typhoons.、Uh, we're very familiar with typhoons in Taiwan, and house various snakes, monkeys, and other species. I want to really point out here. There's a, a word here that we're all familiar with. It's pretty basic, and it's house if it's a noun. But here we're actually using house as a verb, and if we use it as a verb, guys, it's pronounced house with a z sound. So be careful with that.、Um, so these trees, these palms, they're called nipa or nipa palms. 
I'm familiar with palm trees because I grew up in Arizona, and we've got lots of palm trees as we do here as well. And they help protect the coast from those really strong winds and rain that come from typhoons. Indeed, so those palms protect the coast from those typhoons,、uh, like、uh, palm trees here in Taiwan. I suppose protect areas of Taichung and Hualien and、yeah. stuff like that. So Sed gets a few more shots, you know, photographs, shots for、mm -hmm. his book, hoping he now has enough to give an accurate picture of the beauty along this remarkable river that many call the Amazon. Of the east, so yes, indeed, he's taken some more pictures for his book, and he's hoping. Yes, now I have enough photographs to put in this book to show people and to give them an accurate picture of the beauty along this river. So yes, he needs to be accurate here. He wants to give an accurate picture of this area so that people will know what it's all about, and hopefully, they'll try to protect this part of the world as well. Okay, guys, that's a little bit about the Amazon of the East. We're going to listen to our Chinese teacher one more time, and then we'll be back to wrap up. 好，我们继续来看下面这一段。嗯，提到说这个地方纪录片里面，他提到当地的团队怎么样的来提供帮助。第一个组织说是 Hutan， 下面这里还有另外一个组织，它是在沙巴这里的 Wildlife Rescue Unit。也就是野生动物救援小组，而他们要保护的对象呢，是当地的另外一个哎生物品种，叫做 pygmy elephants。哎，婆罗洲这边有一种侏儒象，这个跟亚洲象。事实上是亚洲象的亚种，所以说他们在这个地方呢，因为呢跟当地的农场这边的人有冲突，所以说你必须要注意到他们的安全。他们就想要把这些象搬离人类居住的地方。好，注意到了 ，due to 这个片语。Due to the forest being broken up by farmland, 我们说到 due to 是代表由于什么原因。好，那我们再来看，说到了这些救援小组，他们这么样的努力来保护这个侏儒象。那我们知道了这些团体他们的努力，我们应该要重视。而这位摄影师跟他的助手，他们继续这个旅程，他们看到了所谓的水爷。Nipa palms 这种植物呢，它可以保护海岸，让它不要受台风的侵袭。此外呢，它还提供了蛇类、猴子跟其他物种的住处。说来。基本上，我们很佩服有这样的人。他呢，不但是为了他自己的书拍摄照片，他也希望他的照片能影响更多的人，让大家知道我们应该好好的保护这个地方。所谓的 “the Amazon of the East”， 换言之，我们知道这就是东方的亚马逊。好，我们今天就到这边结束，谢谢大家。Okay, that brings us to the end of our program for today. Please tune in to Animal Planet to check out this documentary series. It's pretty fascinating. Maybe you might travel there someday yourself someday. But if you don't, hopefully you learned a little bit about it from our program. Yeah, and you improved your English in the process.、Yay. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.